The third season of Umbrella Academy was highly anticipated, and to the delight of fans, the cast made a masterpiece of the show. After the exciting cliffhanger at the end of the season, fans have been dying to know what the producers have in store for the fourth season. Well, in this video, we'll be talking about what we know so far, and some theories fans have after watching the third season. Stay tuned. First up, an Umbrella Academy Season 4 update. It comes as quite a surprise, but the show hasn't been picked up for a fourth season. Showrunner Steve Blackman spoke to THR and revealed his concerns about the recent development. I I really don't understand why a show like Umbrella Academy has to struggle with being renewed. Having laid out the beginning, middle, and end of the story in advance, Steve Blackman stated openly that there were still some uncertainties regarding a renewal of the show. Nonetheless, it would be surprising if the program didn't get a second season, especially given the show's creator has indicated he's always had four seasons in mind, and it appears as if the series may end with one more season. But don't take Netflix's recent cost-cutting measures for granted. In terms of Hargreaves' background and the origins of their powers, there is still a lot to discover, and I have faith that the show will do so before it concludes permanently. What do you think of this recent development? Do you think we might not get to see season 4 of our favorite show? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Now that we're done with that, it's about time we talked about fan theories that might make you watch season 3 all over again. Let's go! Starting with the incident between Ben and Jennifer. The final episode of The Umbrella Academy includes a clip after the credits that gives viewers a glimpse of Ben riding a train in South Korea. The lack of a scar on this Ben's face led the majority of fans to believe he is the Umbrella Ben reincarnate. However, Steve Blackman clarifies the situation by stating that the version of Ben that is aboard that train belongs to the Sparrows. How did he make it from the United States to Korea in such a short amount of time, and what was his end goal? The discussion of Jennifer is highly important because the young woman is in some way linked to the passing of Umbrella Ben, and it becomes clear that Sparrows Ben also knew her in his previous life. Since the timeline has been rewritten and Luther is now alive, it is possible that the enigmatic Jennifer can be located, and the two of them can perhaps have a happier conclusion this time around. There is also the possibility that his birth mother lives in Korea, and that Ben is merely going back to his roots because he no longer has any Sparrow brothers or sisters to lean on. If your mind has already been blown by this theory, you haven't seen anything yet because we've got more amazing theories to share with you. Stay tuned! Next up, Allison's taking the blame. When the timeline is reset and the remaining characters are shown to the audience, we are shocked to see that Sloane has mysteriously vanished. Even though Allison's reason for landing separately from the other Hargreaves is understandable, many fans and poor Luther are desperate to find out what happened to the number 5 Sparrow. I think Luther has really gone through a lot of emotional issues. I mean, give the poor guy some peace. One thing fans noticed in episode 8 was Allison making a bargain with Sir Reginald, in which she is supposedly promised that she will receive all that she desires, which is an impossible family consisting of Claire from 2019 and Ray Chestnut from 1963. I don't think she even realizes how impossible it is for her dreams to happen, but after seeing how vindictive this umbrella can get, who's to say that separating the new lovebird isn't a part of Allison's deal with Reggie. Yes, I know it's a lot to take in, but it's not totally impossible. Think about it. And now, the end of the world was on Reginald's agenda. Regardless of whether or not Reginald meant for the Google Blitz to occur, it cannot be denied that the burning red orb will, in the end, prove to be advantageous to his overall goal to reset the universe. On the other hand, might this be his third or even one of his most successful attempts at resurrecting his wife? Some fans are of the opinion that Sir Reginald purposefully isolated and antagonized Victor from an early stage. They believe that this was not because he was afraid of the white violin, but rather because he was aware that once Victor's untrained powers were unleashed, they would have catastrophic results. The fact that Sir Reginald from Season 2 is less than willing to help his children leads many viewers to believe that he knew that his plans would eventually come to fruition. The third apocalypse most likely would have occurred when the button on the Hotel Oblivion was pushed, regardless of the Kugelblitz. Nevertheless, the only way he could get seven sacrificial lambs to the slaughter was by promising to save the universe in exchange for their participation. Before we go any further, you should know that none of these theories have been confirmed by any member of the cast of the show. Still, we can agree that they all seem possible. Also, if you have been enjoying the video, please leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Let's continue. Next, Allison might be in the vacuum. Allison is rewarded with an impossible life after she murders her father and presses the dangerous red button. In this life, she is joined by both Claire and Ray, and they appear to be residing in Patrick's house together. There are a lot of people who are fans of the show who think that this is just too good to be true, especially when you consider the fact that Allison and didn't come out of the elevator with the rest of the survivors. It's just too suspicious to ignore. There are a lot of people who watch the show who think that Allison got the short end of the stick and wound up in Klaus's favorite area, which is the afterlife. However, Steve Blackman throws all of these notions out the window when he gives an exclusive interview to ET Online, in which he firmly denies that Allison died. The fans of the Umbrella Academy will have to wait until season four to discover the repercussions of this improbable event on the timeline, what will happen to Patrick, but be assured that it will be negative in some way. Wait, 
this is just a theory, so don't be assured. It seems I'm starting to believe all these theories myself. Then we have the Academy of Squirrels. There are a lot of fan theories that focus on Allison, which is not surprising given that she went through such significant character growth in Season 3. When the camera focuses on a squirrel deckle in the home of Allison's new and improved family, something that did not appear in the previous timeline, observant fans have a field day. This is because the squirrel deckle did not appear in the previous timeline, in Season 3, Episode 2. Given all of the shifts that have taken place in this reset timeline, the decision to highlight the very minor shift in interior design is almost certainly a hint of things to come. First, there was the Umbrella Academy, and now it's the Sparrows. Is it possible that this timeline comprises a new set of Hargreaves that are influenced by squirrels? Raymond's last name can't be a coincidence, given that it is Chestnut, and the way he looked when the conversation came to a close hinted at ominous undertones. This Ray could have a completely different personality, which would mean that the Squirrel Academy could be the bad guy in the next episode of this show. And now for Sloane, the man behind the mask. Only seven people, out of all those who were involved in the universe reset at the Hotel Oblivion, emerged from the elevator. Reginald, Allison, and Sloane were noticeably absent. The audience is well aware of the relationship between Allison and Sir Reginald, and they can see that both of them appear to be living the lives of their dreams. However, what about Sloane? She may have been secretly helping Reggie all along, and as a result, the new chronology has accommodated all of her deepest, most cherished goals. The fact that Sir Reginald practically informs Ben in the 10th episode of Season 3 that he is useless because Allison is the one who killed Harlan and Reggie united the families is one of the things that causes some viewers to have skeptical thoughts. Why on earth would he feel guilty about the Hargreaves union since it was the wedding that brought about the relationship? It's possible that Reggie was the mastermind behind the entire operation, persuading Sloane to win Luther over as yet another component of his devious plan. There are a lot of theories online about what might occur in Season 4, however, these are the ones we found most logical. Well guys, we've made it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Oh, and turn on post notifications. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the following video.